Welcome into the Oklahoma's Video Studio, our monthly chat with the lady next to me, Tava Malloy Sofsky for the Oklahoma Film and Music Office. Great to see you as always. You too, you too. Thanks for having us. Every month we uh, talk about film and music and all the things happening in those two industries and areas in Oklahoma. And you always bring in a friend. Mm -hmm. Who do we have today? This is Celia to my left. She heads up the Tribal Film Festival that, uh, that we're going to get to hear about here in a little bit. So, um, yeah. Celia, very nice to meet you and thank you very much for your time. Uh, it's interesting all the things you're into, the production wise, but then also the technology and the disruption perhaps mm -hmm. that you guys are taking advantage of. So very, very nice to meet you and uh, thank you for your time. It's an honor, Dave and Tava. Thank you very much. <laughs> what has happened since the last time we chatted? Well, um, so you know I always wear my t-shirts, my brand of t-shirts. So this some one is they're called The Resistance. This was a a um, little short, uh, four and a half minute film, five minute film that uh, NGP put on. Nathan Gardaki Productions. Nathan Gardaki Productions, thank you. Um, and I know you guys um, gave them a great shout out last week. So our office supported them in their efforts um, to promote it. They, they didn't have any trouble with filling the 40 seats for the students to Good. enroll. Um, they had an overwhelming response and it was really great. We were there for the kickoff. It was really great to see all of these students paired with our industry, um, you know, filmmakers. And uh, so they spent two days together and on Saturday um, I was able to, to go back. They, they hosted a VIP experience so there were several different industry um, folks or maybe non-industry folks that we wanted to introduce to um, behind the scenes and to see kind of what goes on um, to ask questions and they got a tour behind you know on set and got to watch a lot of the action we had representative AJ Griffin there with us from Guthrie who does get a lot of filmmaking in her area but we had some other some other uh, legislators out as well and their families just to to catch a sneak peek behind so they can see that a, it's hard work, and B, it takes a lot of people. You know, it's not all the glitz and the glamour, um, and so it's it's pretty uh, impactful for them to see, to, to be there. We were in the basement of the First Baptist Church here in Oklahoma City. Pretty creepy, uh, cool place, really cool place that uh, that uh, a lot of a lot of things happened on, on the weekend, so it was Very great. nice, I believe you had some images that you shared with us from mm -hmm. that of, uh, of the people there. Mm -hmm. um, well, that's good. It's good to hear that that went well. Yeah, it went really great. And then uh, I think it was the day before that we actually got to uh, to visit one of our rebate films on set. Uh, it's called The Wailing, and you haven't heard a whole lot about that yet because because you um, have breaking news to share with us today. We we do. It's 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 not even on the press yet. <laughs> our press release is is uh, is in the uh, in the chain right now. But uh, we for had permission. Approval. Yeah, we had permission to announce. So a really, um, we, we hope on behalf of the filmmakers, and I'm just going to steal this from the director directly, is uh, quote him that they hope it's a darling uh, indie film, and you know it, that gets to run through the festival circuit. Um, it's uh, it is a darling. It is a wonderful little story uh, called The Wailing. Um, just I won't I won't go into too much of it, but uh, to ruin anything, but um, it stars. Uh, Tom Felton from Harry Potter, uh, Tamman Sursock, who um, stars alongside of Tom, and then she actually co-wrote and produced with her husband, Sean McEwen. There's Tom in the middle right there. Why and, is there a kangaroo next to him? Well, so the mom kangaroo had a <laughs> role that day gotcha. in the film, and so, of course, the baby has to eat well, every yeah. hour, and so the kangaroo got passed around <laughs> to everyone. Um, we brought our interns out. We have... We actually currently have an open call out right now for new interns for the fall semester, but um, you see the tall guy on the left pointing at the kangaroo and then the, the young lady next to him, they were two of our amazing... Uh, intern one uh, and intern two. Two Got of you. our four, four interns this summer. So we have them year round and they are uh, they're such a, a great uh, support to us because we're just going and, and trying to juggle so many balls and support. Uh, so many different facets of the film and music industry. So we love our interns, and then you also get to, you know, meet little kangaroos and hold. Well, you kangaroos. get to meet little kangaroos, but there's also some star power involved in this because I remember social media the past couple of weeks. People were like, 
hey, I'm sitting next to Tom Felton right now. <laughs> so there is that buzz that comes with it. Yeah, and you know, I, I, I have worked alongside a lot of the movie stars, you know, in Hollywood, and they're so normal. I mean, not all of them, not all of them, I won't name them, but they're so normal, um, and I they- I to ask you who you're talking about now. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll tell you after the cameras turn off. Um, but anyway, it, it nice might be people a, for the most part. Couple, couple difficult ones, but no. Um, you know, for the most part, I mean, they're just people who love, you know, their, their, their craft of, of acting and sure. telling stories and, and so forth. And so um, we were privileged to have uh, Tom and Tamman and Sean, who's um, a great young uh, filmmaker, and uh, Wendy McClendon Covey and David Ketchner, if I'm saying his name correctly, if I'm not, I'm sorry. I'm but go ahead and say you are saying they, it, right, for all I know. They, um, they filled out the cast, and it's a, it's a road trip movie. So in short, uh, the mother of Tamman and Tom, uh, basically um, when she passes, she leaves a challenge with the, with the, um, with the children to uh, dispose of her ashes in a very uh, unique way. And so the, there was a little bit of conflict between the siblings, and so they came together to, uh, in, in a, uh, in a Winnebago, and they went all over the, the country, uh, crossing several states to to try to fulfill her wish, right? To dispose cool. of her ashes in this unique way, and I can't give it away, but um, it's pretty cool. Um, it, it, the the thing that I love too is that they doubled multiple cities and states in Oklahoma, and you can do that. Um, we see a lot of road trip films: American Honey, American Gods. I mean. <laughs> Um, you know, a lot of, uh, because of our diverse terrain, and so they, uh, they had a great, a great experience that they just wrapped uh, just a few hours ago, as I hear, and so we're, we'll early, be... Early or late this morning. Exactly. Either, however you want to say it. Uh, you mentioned uh, some of the actors. Austin Swift was also in this, yeah. which is Taylor's brother, right? Yeah, so Taylor Swift's younger brother uh, kind of dropped in. And he, there it is. He told oh, me he, he read the script two and a half years ago and just just uh, knew that there was a connection and uh, cut to yesterday he dropped in for cool. you know a short time to uh, to play this cameo role in the in the movie and um, a pretty important part of it all and so we were uh, honored to, to have them here to host them here and those um, artists will leave Oklahoma feeling that they were, you know, taken care of. Our people were so hospitable, and I call it the Heartland. We're known for our Heartland hospitality. They all, even though like Austin was just here for a short time, and they, it was just a 12-day shoot, but they covered a lot of ground. They were in Catoosa. They were in Winniewood, Paul's Valley, um, Oklahoma City. What am I forgetting? Um, it'll be in the press release, so to go to our website. But they filmed uh, in in quite a few of our rural areas. So. We'll talk more location stuff with Celia here in just a second about filming uh, locally mm -hmm. within the state. On the film rebate program, you had another one uh, recently, uh, I don't know if it's wrapped yet or not, Camp Coldbrook. Camp Coldbrook, right. So uh, that one we will also be sending a press re release out shortly, okay. um, probably in the next week. They're still wrapping up gotcha. um, at, at, a, at a, one of our great little camps uh, here in Oklahoma. and so they uh, will be uh, releasing the, the news as to who's involved with that one next week. But yeah, so two of those, you have to wait. <laughs> Come on, So Dave, two uh, of those. Who should um, we be looking for here? <laughs> Camp Coldbrook. So two, <laughs> two of those, both of those films actually uh, did utilize the rebate. And then we, we uh, are just in the process today, tomorrow, of uh, pre-qualifying two more. Okay. So to any filmmakers out there, um, that or, or students that are looking to plug in, you know, keep in in tune with our website because we always list new projects. Um, occasionally, one will drop out or push their dates, to, you know, because of cast availability or whatnot. And so, just keep a close eye on our website for that. And then last month, we also um, uh, got to see the Fly Film Festival. So that happens up in Enid, okay. the beginning of August. And so they had a great um, they had a great. Uh, festival, and then one of our local filmmakers, Ryan Belgart, mm -hmm. who 
Um, he's, I think he's been in here with us before, I think so. hasn't he? And so uh, Gremlin, which was one of his yes. films, just went to DVD, so you can find it on DVD. And then um, he's wrapping up Jurassic Games. I believe which, you can also purchase that off Amazon uh, as well. I believe I read that. Or right. maybe there was just a window where you could. But regardless, yeah. it is yeah. it is out there. It's out there. It's out there to be consumed. Yeah. Uh, let's switch over to the music, music side of things before we get to Celia. Sure. You have a Rhythm and Roots honoree each month, correct? Yes. What is and that? I, I, yeah. I just I wanted to make sure that people knew um, and you that each month. So we our office being a division under Tourism. So tourism, we t sort of jointly, we launch a new um, honoree into the Rhythm and Roots music trail. It's the Oklahoma Music Trail. And you can go to travelok.com and then you know search for a music trail or Rhythm and Roots. And we launched it in 2014 with 43 inductees. So it is comprised of all of the, the known name, household names of, um, of artists and also iconic venues in Oklahoma, such as gotcha. Kane's Ballroom and the Brady Theater in Tulsa and multiple venues here. And, and then all of your Blake's and Reba and, you know, Flaming Lips to uh, All American Rejects to J.J. Kale, I mean, across mm -hmm. the Sandy Patty, uh, crossing multiple genres. So then in 2016, each month, our office inducts a new honoree. And so this month is Color Me Bad, which basically helped define you know, R&B in the 90s. And so each month, if you go to, we, we always put it out on social media. Travel OK does a great job of helping us promote that. And um, so go check it out. And it's a virtual music trail, but you can, um, you can identify whatever itinerary you want to go on. You want to go on a country music journey, That's you can cool. just you know build an itinerary ba f directly from the website and then print it out and go or put it you know on your phone or whatever. We're working on an app that will help with some of that, but um, it's pretty idea. cool. It's pretty cool. So yeah. Tell so. me that. I remember that from uh, the 90s in high school. Mm, yeah. 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 All right, so she mentioned TravelOK.com for information on that. Her website, the Oklahoma Film and Music website, is okfilmmusic.org, which has all sorts of information about upcoming events. Uh, if you want to get involved, boom, good job, Paige, there it is. Mm -hmm. Information about the, the film rebates, if you want to intern, perhaps, or uh, crew information. Mm -hmm. Celia Xavier, uh, mm -hmm. CEO of Tribal TV, also the organizer and founder of the Tribal Film Festival, which is coming up. Coming up really soon, September 1st and 2nd. Tell us about it. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, Dave. Um, we are um, indigenous content based uh, film festival so so but of the world so you know anything that is what's considered indigenous and by indigenous we mean the first people of any particular land so the Sami of Finland the Celtics of Britain all of that cool. um, mm -hmm. and so this year we have um, some beautifully amazing um, films that we are really proud to yes, show. Yes, you do, because you brought in a trailer. Yes. Uh, and we were playing that back in the control room, and it, it just looks and sounds mm -hmm. beautiful. So if we have that queued up, let's go to the trailer. Okay. Music. We need music. Is some impressive stuff. Mm. You got to be proud of all those submissions. I mean, that is cinematic. So mm. exciting this year. Um, I think because of the success of The Revenant, I think people are starting to see that there is um, an audience out there for this type of stories, and so we, we, we're starting to see a lot more films like mm -hmm. this. And you know, as a producer, it just makes me want to go out there and start filming my our own mm -hmm. you know? I was about to say what, do, what goes through your mind what, what, what are you feeling when you see all that I'm very proud and I also want to um, create more 
you know, because that is my background. I'm a producer. That's um, why we started this. Uh, we we produce our own content. We screen it and premiere it at our festival, and then we distribute it on Tribal TV. Well, tell us more about Tribal TV because I think this is a very interesting concept. Mm -hmm. I also think that that's the future of the industry, or mm -hmm. one of the futures mm -hmm. of the industry, is uh, mm -hmm. things like Tribal TV. Mm -hmm. So we are a. Uh, uh, entertainment lifestyle digital channel with 24-7 streaming so on demand um, and again our niche is indigenous content so from all over the world we curate content but we also create our own original content that's our main goal really of having this is to be create our own series our own uh, documentaries feature films um, and whatever else, news, we even want to do something like what you have here, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> but it's important to get the, the true news out there um, of what's happening um, with, with our people. So that's our goal. Um, we are on uh, Roku channel this week. We are on Apple TV and a website called uh, Native Flix. Cool. Mm -hmm. And we're also on Amazon. I was about mm -hmm. to ask you, where can we find more tribal TV? But those are the locations. Mm -hmm. um, so how can people get involved? Well, you could, <laughs> for the festival, you can like our page, which is tribalfilmfestival.org. Okay. And uh, our website for tribal TV is tribal.tv. And so just uh, like our page and um, come to our festival September 1st and 2nd in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, mm -hmm. which you know. And uh, Tevo wrote a beautiful welcome letter. Um, so if anyone is interested in tourism and, and going to Tahlequah, we have um, an incredible holiday that goes on at the same time. Enormous amount of events over three days. Everything is free. So it's quite um, a huge festival that's going on during this time. So not just our little film festival, but all these other events going on as Are well. Are still floating the river at that time? It's still warm, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, they I'm sure I just they are. For the first time. Oh, you did? With was that fun? Family. It's an Oklahoma yeah. tradition to float the river. <laughs> it was. It was an eye opener. It was fun. Mm -hmm. It was fun. Tribal TV. Let's mm -hmm. talk business here. How do you get something like that off the ground, and then how do you grow it? That seems like it's a lot of work and a whole lot of networking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, we've had to pivot a couple times. We are a startup, and we've had to, like I said, uh, we started with one thing, but curating content from other and licensing content, and Actually, this is a great opportunity to tell us, tell you everyone what we're doing is we're becoming more interactive based. So our, our new website, which is hopefully going to be done by the September 1st, is going to be one where people are going to be able to tell their own story up to three minutes mm -hmm. um, because we really want um, it, it to, the stories to be unfiltered. Mm. You know, a lot of times when you do a documentary, you've got the filter of the director and the editor in there. And so this way, it's the, the people themselves telling the story. And again, it's not just for indigenous, it's for people who care and connect with us. So if you're going to visit, say, I know you said you like to travel, if you're going to go see the Mayan ruins, for instance, I mean, you could tell your story and you upload it to the site. It gets shared and voted on, commented on like that as well. That's cool. It's a great concept. Mm -hmm. uh, where are you yeah. from? <laughs> Loaded question. <laughs> I'm just going to say, I'm going to give you the short answer, I'm going to say Hawaii. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. What took you from Hawaii to, to here yeah. in the well, South? What brought me here was uh, this incredible story uh, uh, that took place in Oklahoma in the 1920s. And that was my first documentary, and it's called Osage Tribal Murders. It, um, uh, my, uh, my ex is Creek. Um, Muskogee Creep, and so he's he told me about the story, and that's what brought me here. You're like, hey, I need to tell that story. You came here, mm. produced a documentary, mm -hmm. um, and you liked what you did, apparently. <laughs> Me meaning you like the film, you like the whole production, creation, things like that. Yes. So you pursued it. Yes. And that was my fir very first documentary. And like Tava says, it's, it's such hard work. People don't realize. Um, that documentary took us eight years because back then the technology wasn't quite the way it is now. It's yeah, much the camera easier. gear is so much smaller yes. yet yes, produces high quality. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, and so I think some of the, the younger generation, they don't realize how easy they have it yeah. nowadays. Yeah. Well, plus yeah. you can edit on a laptop versus yes. and oh, cutting yeah. film. Oh, I know. All right, so what do you call home these days? Um, I, I consider Tulsa and L.A. my home. So you bounce back and forth. I do. The West Coast and Tulsa. Yes, and I think that's the best of both worlds, actually. All right, so what are you doing out in California? I am, that's where I have um, uh, my support system for Tribal TV, okay. and um, that's where I do all the meetings and the screenings and, and like that. She mm -hmm. just flew in last night. Oh, well, welcome back. <laughs> just for mm -hmm. us. <laughs> um, Taba was mentioning mm -hmm. uh, the Nathan Gardaki production and mentoring and networking. You are big on the whole mentoring and getting mm -hmm. the youth uh, mm -hmm. exposed as well, right? Yes, Dave. So one of the community outreach programs that we do with Tribal Film Festival is that we um, mentor and teach filmmaking to our native youth. And we have a couple interns that we've been working with for over a year. Um, we travel with them. They, you know, they have a, so much fun. And um, hopefully we, we want them to have careers in the film business if they choose. Awesome. Mm -hmm. awesome. So what's next for you? Of course, making a feature. Yeah. <laughs> so are you currently working on something? Do yes. you currently have an idea? No. Where are no. you at? We um, can't say where we're at, but we have an, uh, we have an incredible... Like every every we have, month on this interview, <laughs> so much that can't be told. <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm from L.A., and, and so we, we don't... Uh, how do you say it? We don't talk about what we're going to do. We just do it. And then how you we get talk things about, done, right? And then we talk about it. Yeah, because talk is cheap. Everybody has a dream and a thought. It's, yeah, it's the and actual getting out there doing it. That yes, that's the hard part. That kind of separates you. Okay, very yeah. good. And even though I keep saying it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Um, the the reason we have the film festival is so that we can celebrate and have fun and have a big party, and um, and celebrate those stories that the that war otherwise stories wouldn't get told. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they are stories. hard stories to tell. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, but they're so important. I mean, we've got to have those for 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 next generation. Mm -hmm. You mentioned uh, one thing, and I'll wrap it up with this, uh, as far as tribal TV and some of the things you're involved with. Um, while you've done the curation, you're very interested in the creation of originals. Yes. Yes, absolutely. I feel that we have so many stories to tell, like Tava was just mentioning, and it does need to be told from our perspective. So, um, and I'm not even including my perspective, I'm talking about the people who have these stories. And so I think we're gonna see a lot more of that just because the technology has um, met us with um, the, the ease now of, of doing that. It's just so much, I can't tell you how much easier it is now to, to create something. But you wanna, we wanna be on the same uh, playing level as the big boys, you know, so we have to be um, conscious of our quality. Well, judging by that trailer, <laughs> it's that, coming that's up. A, yes. That's a very nice it's, quality. It's coming up, yes. All right, so that's tribalfilmfestival.org. Is that the Correct. website? All right, so that's where you can find more information. Uh, there it is, tribalfilmfestival.org. Tava, any closing comments from you? Anything else we need to know? Uh, yeah, I'll just highlight a couple of things coming up in August. Um, since we're kind of into the month, um, I would first encourage anyone and everyone to uh, to go subscribe to our newsletter because we do put all of this out in our monthly electronic newsletter. Um, well, the director's so, note from you <clears throat> right at the top. Yes, yes. Um, and so, <clears throat> um, obviously, the Tribal Film Festival is Labor Day weekend. Uh, <clears throat> the weekend, <clears throat> pardon me, before that is the 48-hour film project awards which is August 26th, and that is obviously the award show to um, acknowledge all of the, the many, many teams who may, you know, who participated in 48-hour film race. two weeks ago, maybe? A couple weeks ago, yeah. yeah. So a lot of our local filmmakers and, and students and a lot of people team up mm -hmm. and work on that. I did it um, a couple of years ago. Our, our office intense, jumped in and, yeah, <laughs> it was real intense. Um, so hats off to all you guys who, <laughs> who did that. Um, and a lot of great quality comes out of that. Matter of fact, uh, last month we had Kyle Roberts here, and it was a film that he had done in the race that was going to Comic Con. Remember that? That's right. And I haven't had a chance to debrief with him, but um, uh, Bulleteers or something, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So there's there's a lot of cool things that come out of that. Um, it's great for you know the the morale and our community to come together. And then um, also you'll see in our newsletter a couple of rebate films. 
that are, are, uh, are making you know progress and, and getting getting out there. So one is the Vale, Brett Ryan Green, uh, obviously native uh, Oklahoma director and producer and, and writer. And so Brett Ryan Green's film called The Veil, and it filmed, I believe, in 2013, uh, right before I came into this uh, role. But it is going to be in theaters. It's actually going to be, you can go to our website to get more information. It'll be um, uh, making a theatrical uh, run, but it will be at Quell Springs Mall. Um, coming up and so check that out and then there's also a sneak peek of I Can Only Imagine um, which is also in our newsletter or found on our website that was the Mercy Me film uh, that filmed here last fall and so um, that'll be coming out that won't be coming out until next March but anyway so go there and check it out and then another rebate project which is a television uh, show uh, in Pawhuska right now that's filming utilizing the rebate as the Pioneer Woman and so we knew that that we talked about that last mm -hmm. month and so they're they're uh, they're in production and then on the music side coming up Post Oak which is a music a wine and music festival uh, which is happens at the Post Oak Lodge in Tulsa if Some you haven't been there, there it is a beautiful resort um, mm -hmm. I went last year and just amazing uh, day and evening of music a lot of fun and so that's September 1st, 1st through the 3rd it's actually the same weekend as her so whether you music lover or <laughs> Tahlequah, film Tulsa, lover, not too far away you can make it happen yeah, yeah. you could probably yeah. make both uh, and matter of fact I was gonna say maybe I did that last year it's always a challenge that weekend because it's one of my boys birthdays and there's football it's football season yeah. for my little guys so uh, and then the uh, Jana J she is <clears throat> um, uh, an artist, a great fiddler. She's got her fiddle camp and a festival going up in her neck of the woods the same weekend. So there's a lot going on. And then I'll just plug uh, the o Ophidelis. You probably know mm -hmm. those guys, Brian, and yep. the, they have their debut album releasing as Good well. So there's a lot happening. Go to our newsletter and check it out. And then I'm not sure when I'll see you in September, but mid September. Uh, our Studio Oklahoma partners and our office will be heading to Nashville to promote and showcase uh, three artists there. So we'll have Travis Linville on the stage, Carter Sampson, and Caitlin Butts will be performing at our Oki Roundup in Nashville on September 15th. So I'm not sure if I'll talk to you before or after, but uh, that's coming around the corner for us. And then. Well, that that yeah, tells so. me that we have been having these conversations monthly for about a year. Because yeah. I want to say one of the first conversations we had was the Americana Fest, which is what you're talking about in uh, in Tennessee. So yeah, yeah, I think I think we actually started spring of last year. It was the was there it was, the ninja? There were some ninjas involved. The yeah. ninja thing. Once again, we had gods and so ninjas. That, yeah. American God. Yeah, we had a lot going on. That was like May, June, and then so yeah, the Americana. This will be our second year to go back to Nashville cool. as as Oklahoma, Studio Oklahoma, and going kind of as a herd to just... Um, That's like how we travel. Herd. <laughs> we do, we do. We're, we just go as a herd. Um, but as a as, as a uh, one unit to promote, we have so much to promote there. Sure. And so, um, so it'll be a great time. And then just before school starts and before summer ends, get out to some of our state parks because um, we, there's a lot of filming going on in our state parks, it seems like, recently, too. So you might see some filming going on, but also just to enjoy the amenities. And, and the some great, actors and actresses that she won't talk about. But, and cool, but they may be cool off well. in the water. Yeah, so right. <laughs> see how I did that. <laughs> uh, Celia, very nice to meet you. Final forgot, thought? Yes, one thing, I, one huge thing I forgot to mention is um, we are having a virtual reality salon at our festival. Mm. We actually have four indigenous films cool. that are um, VR, and so we're going to have the, the Oculus headsets and everything, and somebody there to explain everything who hasn't, anyone who has not experienced this, this is something that you must experience. Mm. And you can also beat the heat because we'll be indoors. If it's very hot out there, so, so you don't want to be outside at the, yeah, the post oak. You, you can, can come, come. You guys are all over the technology. That's good. That's a really good idea yes, to have that. Yes, and there. I almost forgot to mention that, but that was like a big thing for us that's to huge. bring that here. And that's mm -hmm. the first year for the VR, but this is the third year, fourth year, third year. Yeah, for this the is this is only our third year, and I'm so proud of what we've done so far. But our first year for VR, mm. uh, we want next year we're going to have a 360 dome, and we have such big plans for this festival. So. So cool. hang, hang with us. Yeah. <laughs> well, have fun at the festival. Awesome. Best of luck with Tribal Thank TV. You. And again, Thank you can so find much, that on Dave. Roku, uh, Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. uh, Native Flix as well. She is Celia Xavier, again, CEO of Tribal TV, mm -hmm. the organizer and founder of the Tribal uh, 
Tribal, yeah, I said it right, Tribal Film Festival, which you can find at tribalfilmfestival.org. Tava, always great to see you as well. You Appreciate your time. Yeah, okay, filmmusic.org is that website. Ladies, thank you. Have a good trip back home and best of luck moving forward. All right, thank awesome. You. Thanks, thank David. You.